Now I uh, invite uh, Mr. Liu Jingguo, Senior Director from CAFDA. Uh, uh, CAFDA uh -huh. is uh, uh, a new uh, entity in China. You will hear from his presentation what it is, what kind of a new investor it is, uh, maybe different from uh, uh, its impact. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. No, it's, uh, it's a very tight schedule. Uh, I would like to uh, you know, just spend uh, 10 minutes to give a uh, briefing about uh, this health fund and what we do and what we uh, invest in the uh, in property in Africa. I, uh, my uh, context including uh, in the three parts. The first one is a uh, brief introduction about the health fund. And the second is the health fund to real property project in, uh, in Africa. And third would be uh, you know, challenges and uh, the potentials of the real property investment in Africa. The first stage is uh, about uh, you know, the, the CAT Fund. The CAT Fund was announced to be established by uh, His Excellency uh, President of uh, China, uh, Mr. Hu Jintao, at the end of uh, 2006. There is a summit of uh, China Africa Cooperation Summit in Beijing. And uh, to, uh, the mission of the, the CAT Fund is uh, to partner and support Chinese companies directly investing in African countries. And the fund size. Uh, five billion US dollar, and we uh, open uh, open uh, operation uh, in the middle of uh, 2007. So basically, uh, we have uh, been to operation for nearly uh, six years, and this is uh, the basic business model of the cat fund. We are partnered with the Chinese company, and also we are take open attitude with the local company such as. Uh, uh, the national, you know, the housing uh, company from the, the Tanzania, maybe uh, in Kenya, and uh, we are uh, also combined, uh, you know, the commercial loan from the CDD, the China Development Bank, the largest the foreign currency bank in China, and uh, the, also, you know, the CAD fund. We are subsidiary company of the CDD, so you know, we contribute. We are partnered with the Chinese company and the local company contribute with equity and combine the commercial loan from the China Demand Bank. So you know, we can you know, the leverage our you know, advantage to make our product happen. So this is uh, an area for our investment, agriculture, uh, uh, natural uh, gas, and infrastructure, uh, natural resources, and uh, infrastructure, and even an industrial park. We call that industrial park in kind of a commercially, uh, you know, the real property. The project. So that is the, the function of the CAT fund. We can be a bridge to link the, you know, the potential investment opportunity in Africa country and the, you know, the potential you know, the candidate, the investor. So you know, we, are, we, are, we are a bridge to link the, you know, this uh, you know, opportunity. And then we also you know, provide the consulting uh, you know, the services to uh, you know, the uh, the Chinese investor tells them what's happening in Africa, what's the potential investment opportunity. And then we also uh, finance, support, and uh, you know, the uh, part with the Chinese company to provide the, to contribute with equity. So uh, this is the performance of the uh, last uh, in the six years. So far, we have uh, invested uh, 70 uh, products in uh, cover of our 33 African countries. And uh, the total investments uh, from the cap fund is uh, you know, the two, uh, two point six billion, and uh, the uh, we the total investments of the seventy projects is about one uh, fifteen uh, billion US dollar. And we also you know the screening about uh, two hundred projects uh, in in African countries. So that is the, you know, the project, uh, some, the, the big picture, and, and you know, that is the sum of agriculture, such as you know, the cotton, uh, the project in Malawi, and we also got an uh, uh, industrial park in uh, Egypt and uh, for Nigeria. And we also got the seven uh, the projects, uh, seven projects uh, in uh, you know, uh, Ethiopia, and uh, that is the uh, uh, 200 megawatts. Uh, natural gas for power generation plant in, uh, in Ghana. 
And uh, this is uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the TV, uh, the products cover of uh, 13 uh, African countries. Uh, this is uh, you know, the laser processing products in, in Ethiopia. And so far, we have uh, four website offices in you know, you know, cover of the whole African countries. The first one is uh, the first one in Johannesburg, cover of the south part of Africa, and we have also the second represent office in Addis Ababa to cover about you know, the eastern Africa country, and we also uh, in central represent office in Lusaka, and uh, the Ghana office part of uh, you know, the western Africa countries. So we have four represent office. We can know we can you know, the contact with the, you know the local our partner. To learn what's the, you know, the real need and what's the top priority of the government, and then we can introduce this uh, opportunity to uh, you know, the Chinese uh, investor. So you know we can be uh, to promote the investment. And, and then we'll like give uh, you know, a brief introduction about the real property, of the products in Africa so far. Uh, the first one is the uh, Saudi uh, Arabia, a fortune house. We partnered with the uh, Guoji. Uh, the company, one of the Chinese uh, uh, local uh, property developer, and uh, we uh, built uh, this uh, affordable house in Saudi uh, Arabia. And we also uh, try to partner them, to support them to build the affordable house in Zambia. And uh, this is uh, in Mustafa. And this is uh, Zimbabwe. So we, we, so far, we are trying to you know, partner and support this, uh, you know, the Chinese company, and also partner with the local government to build the you know, affordable house. And including a uh, you know, residential you know, office block and uh, for four uh, star hotel and uh, also one of five star hotel. So that's uh, you know, the bit of uh, you know, the complex. And we also you know the uh, figure out uh, find the potential investment opportunity in Cairo. Yeah, it's a new the you know the new Cairo area. That's uh, you know the uh, designing of the, the project about uh, uh, three uh, more than three hundred units of the apartments. Yes. And we also have our project in the Mauritius. Yes, so we are uh, part of with the uh, the Shinji. Uh, one of uh, you know, the real uh, property, uh, property development developer in China, and we try to build uh, for this uh, you know, the big uh, complex, including uh, the, you know, the office block, and uh, for that is uh, you know, the culture, uh, you know, the, the, the center uh, for China you know, and Mauritius. And we also including in the residential uh, villas, apartment flights, and also some of uh, you know, the uh, headquarters. Uh, the, the building of uh, for uh, the companies. Yeah. So that is the, the, the big project. Yes, that is a picture of the individual uh, the, the building. And we will, I guess, we will make a decision. Uh, that's, uh, uh, the total is uh, more than uh, 500 million dollars, and uh, we will uh, make our decision. I guess at the uh, end of this year. About the change and uh, the potentials of the Africa real property, and we, are, we have learned from the uh, NVIDIA speaker. So I'd like to uh, just give you uh, the highlights. So firstly, uh, I guess uh, the, the, the potential, I guess uh, you know, the, the opportunity is uh, huge, and uh, the big potential, especially with uh, you know, the, the revenue of the, you know, the local people, and the expense on the house will increase. <coughs> And we can see that is uh, for the, the, the economy of Africa increased uh, steadily in the last 10 years. So that means you know, the, it's a uh, big potential and uh, the development, quick development for you know, the housing and the economy in less than you know, the 10 years. And we can see that is the return uh, for the real property in South Africa is much higher than the, you know, the world average in the last 10 years. Currently, they are you know, the co founders and uh, we can pick uh, you know, the PPP, and uh, we uh, also you know, can 
combine the, you know, the cap fund and the equity fund, and we can also uh, combine the commercial loan, also you know, the premium loan uh, from the existing bank, maybe uh, from other you know, uh, international uh, finance in the institution, such as you know, the World Bank, and maybe uh, you know, the African Development Bank. So you know, I guess we can you know, figure out what's the best way to, uh, you know, uh, sure. to solve the, you know, the, that kind of challenge and uh, to make our uh, uh, housing uh, finance you know, happen. So uh, just a uh, uh, brief introduction about cap funds, and I'm um, looking forward uh, to answer the question yeah. from the you know, audience. Thank you very much.